Hello everybody, John Felt here. Welcome to the NCGA FMC Ag Weather Outlook, September 5th, 2015. Well, now that we're in September, you're going to see that I'm going to be focusing more on harvest type harvest time conditions, not just in these briefings, but also in my content that I send each week. Let's start off today's briefing by looking at the number of rain days over the last week. I see a lot of brown and that's saying that this continued pattern of dry weather persists. Now, you, you remember we had a pretty busy spring, we had a busy summer, at least through midsummer, and then now it's finally quieted down recently. We see a lot of brown, that's saying no rain day, so pretty much a completely dry week. A couple areas in green, that's indicating four days of measurable precipitation. You can see those, Ohio primarily and some spotty parts of Iowa. If we look at how much rain fell, we can see it very spotty. Really, if we look at a tenth of an inch as the areas in sort of the medium blue, if you would subtract the green and yellow, you would see a very large part of the Corn Belt was very quiet over the last seven days. The only area that really had more of a widespread soaking rain was parts of Ohio and scattered areas of the Great Lakes. So we see a lot of red, which is indicating percent of normal, well below normal. So a very quiet week, uh, which has been a number of weeks now over many areas, uh, finally gotten into a quiet pattern. Now the temperature departure last week, it was quite warm, uh, I should say hot. Look at that upper Midwest red, 10 degrees or above normal or more in the latter part of summer. So that was very, very hot. But the entire Corn Belt, look at that medium orange, six degrees or more above normal. So definitely a hot week virtually no area of the primary Corn Belt below normal. So very hot week. Now I'm going to give you a little hint here. I'm going to issue a trend alert. A trend alert is when I see a major shift in the pattern, either temperature or precipitation. So uh, if you're looking for cooler weather, stay tuned. Okay, now here's soil moisture. Um, again, this is something we want to keep an eye on because getting into the fields for harvest time, um, it's going to we don't want to see excessively wet fields. And what we have here is really a little bit above or a little bit below over most areas. Actually, most of the Corn Belt's in white, and that's indicating your normal. But we do have a pocket there right in Iowa that at least this model of soil moisture is indicating excessively wet. So we don't want any more rain in that area. We could have some problems. And right now it looks like it's sort of centered near the central part of Iowa and also a part along the Mississippi River um, down uh, along and north of St. Louis. Okay, now the jet stream pattern this week, brown is indicating the jet stream above further north than normal, which means bulging to the north, warm temperatures. And then we have the dip in the jet stream in this area. So the pattern that we have is sort of like this. And that is means warm temperatures under the ridge and cooler temperatures under this dip in the jet stream here. So this is this week. So at least most of the week is going to be a continuation of what we saw last week, hot temperatures. So if we look at the temperature anomalies, we see a lot of brown and that's indicating above normal temperatures. So this week, at least starting out a majority of the week, similar to last week. Now we get into September 10th and 15th, we break down that ridge and now we have a trough of low pressure over the area. That's pretty significant in changing our temperature pattern. Thus, when we get into the 10th through the 15th of September, we've very significantly have changed and now we're seeing well below, or I should say below normal temperatures, in many cases, well below normal temperatures centered over the middle part of the nation. That's a 10 degrees uh, or more below normal as we get towards the middle of the month. If you want to sort of look at the model way out there, this is a week from today. Look at high temperatures, only in the 60s over a large part of the upper Midwest, 70s elsewhere. So pretty big change in temperature as we go about a week from uh, today. Then as we look a little bit further out through the 15th through the 20th, uh, a little bit more of a normal type pattern. So the cooler temperatures will probably linger, but maybe not quite as much so as we get a little bit further out. And we can see that here, still cool temperatures. So once we break this hot weather, roughly a week from now, it looks like it's going to persist well through the rest of the month of September. 
Now here's precipitation. It looks similar to last week in some ways in that some areas could get a heavy rain um, from roughly St. Joe up towards Des Moines. Um, but everywhere else looks like a fairly quiet week. The eastern Corn Belt looks quiet. Upper Midwest generally quiet. So just right in the middle of the uh, area that we could have some precipitation. And soils could be getting wetter in that area. Now what we want to watch is, remember that soil moisture? We don't want much of an overlap in this region here. And it looks like there could be some. So we, could, we really could have some issues in a sort of a small section here of already wet soils getting wetter. I think down here it's been fairly dry. We'll be okay in this area. We'll be okay as well. Perhaps some issues in Ohio as um, because we had last week was wet. If there could be some additional uh, lighter precipitation this week, but I think the main area of concern right now is a small part of Iowa with that overlap. Well, let's go through the next four weeks as far as precipitation anomalies and. This is week one. This is this week. I've discussed this week already. And what we don't want is we don't want this area of heavy rain here to really overlap this area right in this region here in the central part of this uh, Iowa. It's going to be awful close. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on this. That this area could be getting to the point where we really are having a problem with some wet soils. But it's going to be very limited. Everywhere else looks like it's fairly quiet. Week two, I don't see anything of significance overall as far as models. It looks like it's fairly quiet week and week two once that cool air moves in. Remember we had that before um, when we had the cooler air earlier this summer. It was a quiet pattern as far as precipitation and that's what I see. Now week three and four, I go to a climate model and I think what this is doing is it's picking up climatology. If you looked at my issuance as far as climatology for September, the upper Midwest actually it's an area, it's a time of the year when there's a greater fraction of precipitation in this region. That's probably what this model is doing. So I would say overall, this is also fairly uneventful uh, week three and four. So I, at least right now, um, I don't see anything widespread or all that significant. Okay, I want to sort of put in a, a little informational blurb here. Um, you might have seen that I added a new feature to uh, the suite of services for the Ag Weather Advisor. Um, I ad added an interactive radar and it could do all sorts of cool things. I sort of showed you here, here's a line of thunderstorms moving through. It gives you information on movement, it gives you information on rainfall rates, it gives you information on storm reports, gives you information on current temperatures, current winds. Um, I, I really like it and I, I put this in here because it's something that I use a lot. I think you'd enjoy it. So you, there are two ways you can get to this. If you like going to ag, agweatheradvisor.com, uh, you can get that plus all the other information I have on there. Or if you just want the radar, just go here, agweatheradvisor.com radar. You can bookmark it and then uh, utilize this as part of your subscription to the um, NCGA FMC Ag Weather Advisor program. So I'll remind you that from time to time, but I really do think you'll like that. So here are your takeaway. I am going to issue this trend alert because I think it's a significant change with significantly cooler temperatures on the way. It might be a week away from you, anywhere from five days to over a week. There'll be some heavy rain in limited areas this week, but the rest of the Corn Belt looks like it's going to remain dry. So enjoy your Labor Day weekend, everybody. And um, Looks like pretty hot weather uh, most of the weekend. Uh, take care. If you want to ever send me a question, there's my email. Talk to you again soon.